So now let's understand channels and work around with it in our Slack application right here. So I've already have my Slack application opened up and on the left side, you can see that there's channels. So if I were to expand this, you can see all the channels right here. So you see general, general, you got random, which are the default channels generated and you got video tutorials, which we set it up as we uh, set up this Slack. Over here, if you want to add in more channels, what you can do is you can press on this button to add channels. So if I were to click on add channels, now I have an option to browse existing channels. If you have many channels, this is very helpful or you can create a channel. So I'm just going to go around and create a channel. And over here, I'm going to say something like planning. And then I may want to add in a description as well right here and click on create just like this. So once I create this, now I can add all members to TutorTube or add specific users right here. Let's say, for example, I want just my second account TutorTube 2 right here. So that's the only one I have in uh, this example. But if you have many members added in, you can add in selected members right here. So once I do this, I can also go around and say only admins can see the setting automatically everyone who joins to YouTube. So if I want everyone to join in by default as they join in uh, the Slack channel, then what happens is that everyone gets added on to that channel. So I'm just going to press done. And what happens is that the new channel has been created. So now I can go around and discuss regarding planning right there. Another type of channel that you can create is a private channel. So if I were to go over here and click on create channel, I can create a private channel. Let's say for example, draft channel is, is going to be a private channel and I can make this private. That means others won't be able to see the channel. So uh, all of these channels right here are public channels because they have hashtag in front of them. But if you had to turn this out just like this, you can see that there is a lock, which means that it is a private channel just like that. So I'm just going to click on create over here and the channel has been created just like that. And I can go around and choose the members that I want to uh, add in the channel. So I'm just going to press done. And what happens is that they are added in the channel and no one else will be able to access that particular channel. So if you want to view channel details, then you can go to a particular channel and click on this I button right here. And here you can see the about channel right here and then see everything else. So for the general, for the planning, for the random, everything, it works the same, just like that. You can see the number of members right here. So right now there's two members in all of them and you can see the details right here as well. If there's any files, it, it gets allocated here. Anything pinned out, it'll be allocated here. Any shortcuts and anything else, all will be accumulated right here. And that is something we'll see in further lessons. So that is how you can work with channels and then communicate. So you want to uh, message them out, just message and send them. It is sent to them. You go to general and type it out. It gets sent to everyone. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.